Jimmy Stewart and Diana Shore, two highly acclaimed figures in the entertainment industry, captured the hearts and imagination of millions with their talent and charisma. Their relationship was short but passionate. Unfortunately, it was a union that couldn't last. This is the tale of two individuals whose love story was brief but left an enduring mark on Hollywood. Join Facts First as we present Why Jimmy Stewart Called Off His Marriage to Dinah Shore. Their Respective Careers Jimmy Stewart began his film career in the 30s and went on to leave an indelible mark on cinema. One of his most notable collaborations was with director Frank Capra, resulting in classics like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, in which he portrayed the idealistic and determined Jefferson Smith. It earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Another pinnacle in his career was his role as George Bailey in the timeless holiday classic It's a Wonderful Life, a role that has become synonymous with the holiday season. Stewart's exceptional acting skills shined in Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, where he played a wheelchair-bound photographer solving a mystery from his apartment window. His versatile talent was further evident in the Western genre, notably in Winchester 73 and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. He received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in The Philadelphia Story. Dinah Shore's illustrious career in the entertainment industry spanned several decades and left an enduring impact on the world of music and television. She rose to prominence as a talented singer during the 1940s, known for her distinctive voice and captivating stage presence. Her remarkable vocal abilities earned her recognition with hits like Buttons and Bows and Blues in the Night, solidifying her status as one of the era's top recording artists. Her career further soared with her own radio show, The Dinah Shore Chevy Show, which transitioned to television in the 50s. Her program was a groundbreaking success, showcasing her versatility as a performer and introducing her to a broader audience. Her charm and charisma as a host made her a beloved television personality, earning her several Emmys. She made notable contributions to the film industry, with appearances in movies like Up in Arms and Till the Clouds Roll By. Their Relationship Jimmy met Dinah at the Hollywood Canteen, which was a club for servicemen. The two started dating, and things got serious pretty quickly. But sadly, it wasn't meant to be. He had reportedly finally gotten to the point of wanting to tie the knot, and even set a date. But at the last minute, he got cold feet. They were set to marry in Vegas, but at the last second, he decided he couldn't go through with it. Jimmy's Other Relationships Gloria Hattrick McLean Jimmy's most enduring and well-known marriage was to Gloria Hattrick McLean. They tied the knot in 1949 and remained together until her death in 94. The marriage was highly regarded for its stability and enduring love. Gloria was a former model and had two sons from a previous marriage. Jimmy adopted her sons, Michael and Ronald McLean, and they became a close-knit family. Margaret Sullivan before his marriage to Gloria, Jimmy was married to Margaret Sullivan, a talented actress. They got married in 1935, but divorced in 1940. They remained good friends despite the divorce, and their professional collaborations continued in films like Next Time We Love and The Shopworn Angel. In 1949, shortly before marrying Gloria McLean, Stewart briefly dated Patricia Donnelly, a stage actress. Their relationship did not lead to marriage and ended before he married Gloria. Other Relationships while Jimmy has had some romantic relationships in Hollywood, his reputation was largely associated with his commitment to his family and strong moral character. He was known for his genuine and kind-hearted nature, which endeared him to many of his co-stars and friends in the industry. His enduring marriage to Gloria is often celebrated as a rare example of a successful and long-lasting Hollywood union. Dinah's Other Relationships one of Dinah's most famous and enduring relationships was with actor Burt Reynolds. They first met on her talk show, Dinah's Place, in 1970, and their connection soon turned romantic. The relationship garnered significant media attention due to their age difference. Dinah was 20 years older than Burt, but they were a high-profile couple and often appeared together in public. They remained together for nearly a decade before parting ways in 1980. George Montgomery Dinah Shore was married to actor George Montgomery from 1943 to 63. They had a daughter named Melissa Ann Montgomery. Their marriage was one of the prominent Hollywood unions of the time, with both Dinah and George being well-known figures in entertainment. But they divorced in 1963, ending their two-decade-long marriage. Eddie Fisher 
Before marrying George Montgomery, Dinah had a brief romance with singer Eddie Fisher in the early 50s. The relationship attracted attention given Eddie's previous marriage to actress Debbie Reynolds. Dinah's personal life was relatively private and she was not known for having a string of high-profile romances, but she focused on her career and her family. After her marriage to George Montgomery ended, she remained largely single until her relationship with Burt Reynolds. Jimmy and Marlene Jimmy Stewart's rumored relationship with Marlene Dietrich has been the subject of speculation and intrigue in Hollywood history. While there's been no confirmed evidence of a romantic involvement, their close friendship and occasional public appearances together fueled rumors. Marlene, the iconic German-American actress and singer, and Jimmy Stewart were both prominent figures in the entertainment industry during the mid-20th century. They met in the 30s, likely through their work in Hollywood, and developed a strong friendship that endured for decades. The rumors were partly fueled by their frequent public outings. They often attended premieres and social gatherings as friends, and their chemistry was evident in photographs from the time. Jimmy's Passions One of Stewart's most well-known passions was his love for aviation. He developed an interest in flying during his early years and became a licensed pilot in 1935. During World War II, he served in the U.S. Army Air Forces and eventually achieved the rank of Brigadier General. After the war, he continued to fly and owned several aircraft. He often credited flying with bringing him a sense of freedom and escape from the pressures of Hollywood. Jimmy had a talent for writing poetry, which he often kept private, but he penned heartfelt poems that reflected his emotions and experiences, and some of his poetry was published in various literary magazines. He had a love for music and was proficient in playing the accordion and the piano. He sometimes showcased his musical talents on television and in films. His musical interests extended to supporting the arts as he was involved in various charitable endeavors related to music and the performing arts. Later in life, he took up painting as a hobby. He found a creative outlet in art and produced numerous paintings, often inspired by his travels and experiences. Stewart also enjoyed horseback riding and spent time at his ranch in California where he could indulge in this hobby. His love for the outdoors and nature was evident in his ranching activities. Philanthropy Throughout his life, Jimmy Stewart was involved in various charitable and philanthropic causes. He was committed to giving back to the community and supported organizations related to the arts, education, and healthcare. His hobbies and passions beyond acting highlighted his multifaceted personality. His love for aviation, artistic pursuits, and philanthropic endeavors showcased his depth of character and dedication to a life well-lived. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Jimmy and Dinah nearly got hitched, but that he got cold feet? Let us know in the comments section below.